well, it's that time of year again, and we decided to go back to the tracks and see what we can find during the autumn color season. Welcome back to the Michiganer and the Buckeye State Wells. This video, we're definitely going to be taking the looks of some very, very good catches that we can catching during the autumn color season. Right now, we were seeing a M383 looks like to be yarding his train with an ST75i and a BC Well paint scheme dash nine that will be trailing from 383 we got a M209 headed southbound with a Mac duo heading all over Kentucky Back out to the tracks. Wine dot Michigan. Why are we back over here again? Well, here's why. 
we were given word about a Q116 on the front sub that would have Grand Trunk Western 8952 would be solo leading a Q116 and we decided to go to Wyandotte and I see these trees with a bunch of olive color leaves on it. There's a lot of colors here at Wyandotte and we decided I wanted to fly my drone over here to get the shots. Too bad my drone was too high up, I wanted to get it lower, but it's alright. You just gotta be happy what we got. given word about a NS-334 departing the yard at Bellevue, Ohio with a special solo leader. It would end up being the Wabash Heritage Unit. I have not seen the Wabash in a while though, but that's because I just never got to see it in a while with this current horn that he has right now. He took at least five to six hours from Bellevue to here. He departed Bellevue around 10.08 a.m. Now it's about either 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Two days later, we decided to go back to Trackside and catch NS22H. 22H comes from Chicago, Illinois to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The leader on it would have a P3, which would be NS4822, the thank you of a whale That would be unit that would be leading on 22H. This is my first time seeing it within the four months it's been out on road service on NS.
so we would basically get a flashing yellow for the next 10 minutes and the next 10 minutes it would be a clear for a NS 11k coming from Clarkston, New Jersey to Alcar, Indiana. For this 11k it would have a special leader on it. NS 8104 the Lehigh Valley Heritage Locomotive would be leading one out of three. It's leading an ACE and a C6L. Both of them are trailing besides the Lehigh Valley. out of two it's CN 3015 it's one of the CN's veteran unit trailing on M383 coming from Mac Milan Yard Toronto Antonio to Lang Yard in Toledo Ohio the reason why I went out for that one because I never seen one of the CN veteran units Especially, I wanted to, since that would be my first time seeing one. Fortunately enough, it was not leading, it was trailing. So, that's the only thing that kind of sucks, but hey, at least I caught one.
why are we in Down River, Michigan area? Well, it's because I texted a buddy of mine, and he said he wanted to meet up to get L573. It's gonna be wanting on the Flatlock Sub. Yes, Flatlock Sub. Isn't there two of them? Yes, the one with the, the arches, the TNI North. South Shore Line, and as Detroit Line, and the Flatlock Sub. And we're kind of hoping to see something good for 573 power. I hope it's something good like 5937, something like that. Anyway, we would end up getting M383 heading southbound on the South Shore Line. And it's going towards Lang Yard in Toledo, Ohio, coming from Toronto, Ontario. Seen as leading on 575 from the previous summer. Now it's leading on 573. Luckily, it's long moved forward. And basically, we're going to be waiting for him heading back south at Oak Street. And luckily, it's long moved forward now, so he should be short hood forward.
CNL 573 makes his way back south for Flat Rock, Michigan. As we were getting the two trains here at Oak Street on the Norfolk Southern Detroit line or Conrail, anyway, as soon as we were getting 11 in, he goes through two crossings over here and we saw a light reflecting from the freight cars, Artilacs. Then we saw this guy coming back. 573 making his way back south from Flat Rock, Michigan. After 573 went by, I would get the west of an 11N train here at Oak Street. In the background, you would see this beautiful sunset in the background. So, we did manage to get some pretty good pictures of it, but then it's like, right after we got this train, we just decided just to make our way back south and home. And eventually, I won't be coming back to the Metro Detroit till summertime or Christmas break, sometime like that. Or, like, till spring, maybe. Somewhere around there. But anyway, this was a very, very fun October month. Seeing all them colors. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in a Michigan or state. Or the Buckeye State Wells.